second grade student musicians, Bentonville Public Schools. Man, has this been amazing or what? So here we are, week 13. We music, grade two, week 13, choosing love, courage, gratitude, forgiveness, compassion, and action. Talking about North American November traditions and learning a little bit about the composer Beethoven. How cool is that? So let's jump in. That's our hello slide. So hello, and let's look at slide two together. Slide two. This one's pretty cool because it talks about courage, but interestingly enough, there, there's something in here, and you, you, you have to look for it a little bit, but it's there. And to me, it's forgiveness. And I don't know about you, but there's a lot of times, you know, I'll, I'll be trying to do really well, and for some crazy reason, I will totally mess it up. Uh, I was watching this really cool Choose Love video about this dog. He was doing obedience training. And he was learning how to be a guide dog for blind people. And he was like totally messing it up. He, he couldn't get through the course. The The person that was holding on to him kept falling. Uh, he would keep leading her into places where she would fall. And and he and then he came up to the day and then all of a sudden he's he got inspired and he saw this really cool thing. And uh, this other dog that was like, you know, the dog that everybody looks up to at this uh, dog training school and Ace. And so he's like, I'm going to be like Ace. And so he starts actually cleaning himself up, getting himself better, getting things figured out. Uh, but he comes up to the day where he's got to do the big test and he's doing really good. And then all of a sudden, right at the very end, he. He looks up at the handler and she looks at him and kind of winks like, hey, you did it, you know, and that and he falls and she falls over him. And the guy's like, nope, you're not ready yet. Got to go. Either you got to go back for more training or you, you can't you can't do this program. So he's he's sad. You know, he tried so hard to get it right. And then he went out. And then all of a sudden he saw this lady and she was in this construction zone and she was obviously blind and she was using her white cane and she, she was about to fall into a huge, scary like ditch or something. And the dog didn't even think twice. He got over the fence or went through the fence or something like that. And then went over to her and um, put himself in, inside of her purse and, and literally led her correctly through this really scary construction zone and um dangerous and seriously dangerous construction zone and and it, it, you know he i mean all the other dogs were inside look you know looking so proud and they all had their little medals and their capes and everything and he didn't have one and and, and he's like yeah you know that's that's okay i mean i i, I helped this lady so i guess some of my training must have paid off well sure enough all those folks did see him through the window or something and they were like oh, you you did it you, in real life you did something and you did it without thinking that anybody was looking you weren't doing it for yourself you were doing it to save that lady and um oh man just just by maybe cry it was so cool but it talks about forgiveness and and sometimes we do have to forgive ourselves and we have to you know you know, start over again and just you know do the best we can and I thought that was cool. Um, so this song kind of talks about that. You'll see it in there if you really pay attention. The next one, um, and, and this to me is, you know, and it's something that we talked about in previous weeks. But, you know, thanking our police officers, thanking our first responders, thanking our firemen, thanking our teachers, thanking our parents, thanking veterans. Um, you know, Veterans Day was November 11th this month. And so thanking all these people for sacrificing everything to uh, keep us safe and keep us healthy and doctors on the front line right now, paramedics, nurses, everybody going through this, this amazing time. So hopefully you'll enjoy this and sing that uh, along with that. This next one is actually a uh, study about Beethoven and boy, Man, what a challenge. I, I'm not going to talk much about this one. You'll learn a, a whole bunch about it when you watch this. Um, and then the next slide is really cool because, you know, we don't get to play xylophones, metallophones very much. But I have a feeling you probably have something that looks like a metallophone or a xylophone laying around your house somewhere, maybe a toy one. And guys, eventually someday we are going to get back to playing xylophones again and other instruments. But when you learn orphan instruments, xylophone instruments, there are certain ways, certain techniques that you need to learn, like playing in the center of the instrument. And this talks about that. Um, and then finally, just 
a lot of fun. Uh, just some uh, songs to celebrate, you know, North American November traditions. One of the traditions we serve is, of course, Thanksgiving. You're going to be observing it next week, some of you that do actually observe North American traditions. Uh, I hope you do. Turkey is great. Cranberry sauce is awesome. Uh, you know, there's and you know crunchy uh, green beans and all that other good stuff and gravy and mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes with the uh, marshmallowy stuff on top. Okay, I know you're probably getting really hungry right now, right? <laughs> you may be smelling some of the stuff pretty soon. <coughs> Excuse me. And then finally, I wanted to um, leave you with some fun. I know you guys love this quiz challenge thing. So you'll click on this, you'll click on that, and then it will bring up the really cool and fun um, quiz challenge. And it, it will go over all of the things that we've discussed um, this year or this um, lesson. Okay, guys, uh, have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.